I will now show you how we can make another scroll coming off this one. Uh, so we put our lid on or your dividers or something and start here. No, it's not necessary to go all the way around, you see, so you can here and you can stop about here. Okay, just here because you're going to come in soon. Okay, so we stopped here. Now we're going to do the same passageway coming down here. A little roadway, you can have the same width here. You see, you do, do need the same width. So we're going to, and we do correct this here, but I'm doing it fine again, you see. And uh, because I've got this width here, I could even start here, come here, you see, and see how it's going to work out. So I could bring that around here, like that, because I'm keeping the distances all the way around. And I'm going to connect with this. So I'm not turning my paper, which I advise. But, but you know, I'm just trying to show you here. So now it's a little narrow there. So I would have then maybe to bring it around here. OK. Right. So we'll eliminate this bit here. I hope I'm not being too complex for you. It's just something I've designed or <laughs> tried to find out how to improve some of our younger or our novices and um, I'm always trying to find easy ways so I devise this myself I think about how I can do it a simple way so it gives you uh, when you when you've achieved this it gives you confidence into doing it more freehand and uh, so we got this again, you see, so now we have that. And we're going to go around the same old business again of just filling in here, whatever we want to do. You know me, as I told you last time, I'm not taking any real time to do this. I'm just giving you an example of what it could look like when you've done it correctly. I suppose most of you may have this same result, but don't worry, you, you, you'll improve. And uh, it's just getting you to get this pencil into your hand and to uh, just look at that you've made some marks on the paper that you're going to be, mm, you feel as though you've achieved a little bit of something. And that's what I want to do is to give you this little bit of confidence to think oh I'm not making that mistake again and it doesn't look right it can look right if you do these type of things you see it's regular and they're not all dead leaves around here and uh, I'm just doing this you see I can swing it around I can put knobs on there like so and do these little things and if I don't want to put a knob on there, I can put a little one here and I can do this again. I can do all these other types of little quirky things here. But I'm keeping it as simple as I can um, so that you will have a, a nice little result at the end of that. And uh, I think we've all got an old lid you see, that's my old lid that I used to just take my watercolour paints and just mix a little bit in the in the lid here, you know. And uh, not showing off any contemporary art. You know, it's not worth thousands of pounds. It's just not. Could be. <laughs> take it up to some of these art collectors and just collect the old lid. Okay. Oh, we touched that. It's a brilliant piece of art. You can see all the art in it. Well, there you are, lads and lasses. And we got that. And if I wanted to do yeah, I just put something in here, you see. And just do that. And do that. And do that. And to fill it in. And it's just a fairly simple. Just that. Showing you how quick it can be done. Bye for now.